Hi, everyone. Ronnie Rowe here of Ronnie Rowe Designs and back this week for another My Designs. Um, we've been doing this for now for three, two, three, four weeks or so and gotten some really nice comments from all you kind folks. And I really, really appreciate it a whole lot. Um, keep those letters coming. Um, <clears throat> like I say, for the last four weeks, I've been trying to present one of my new designs for... Um, that I did come out with this year. And today we're gonna have four designs and these are all the boats, the small boats that I've done. And um, each one is a little bit different in um, its own right, um, whether it be the color, the angle or the setting it's in. But each one, um, like I say, is a little bit different. Um, before we get started on the boats, I'd like to also say, Thank you for all your comments, which I already have. But anyway, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to answer every single person's request. If they send me a note and want to know something, and I'm going to I'm going to try very hard to answer each and every one of you that uh, you so kindly sent me a question or a comment, whether good, negative, or whatever about my designs. So um, <clears throat> anyway, that's um, that's in the plans right now. That's my that's my new thing. I'm gonna really try to stick stick to that. Um, what you're seeing behind me right now are the four boats that I have come out with. And like I say, we'll be talking about those shortly. But before we get started, I got a letter from a lady who bought the pattern Snowbound. And um, on the back of that pattern, I've got three, I've got three colors listed and um, two symbols for each color. Well, probably, um, I made a mistake after 40 years. That's probably the first one I've ever made. <laughs> yeah, right. And, um, but anyway, so when you go and pick up a copy of my new new design, the, um, on the back of it on Snowbound, and let me see where it is, a 794, which is a light blue. I've got two symbols for the same color. And also for 3756, which is a baby blue. And uh, that is an X and a solid circle. That one, and I think is another one, a pewter gray 317. So if you've got that chart, you look at the back of it. There's two symbols and there's two numbers for them. Um, but it's every time you stitch and you see that symbol, use that one color and everything will work out just great. Um, Anyway, like I say, that's my, that's my fault. Things things happen. What can I tell you? Um, another thing I want to comment about, I didn't know if I should or I was going to, but I, I, I kind of thought, well, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. When I put out the video about Mystic Harbor and how I come up with Mystic Harbor up in Connecticut, we were on the way up to... Um, uh, up to Gloucester, Massachusetts, up in that area, Rockland, Maine. Um, but anyway, I used to live, when I was three years old, I used to stay in Gloucester, Massachusetts. As I told you, my father was a waterman, a fisherman, and at a very early age, he grew up in Gloucester, Virginia, uh, very close to where I am now. And um, my father, in an early age, age 12, got one of his eyes shot out with a BB gun. Well, and I the story I've always heard, but um, he had one eye, and so he was a commercial fisherman in Gloucester off of the Georgian banks fishing a trawl boat, and he was captain of a trawl boat, and um, they were out at sea, and he um, was unfortunate enough to be in a hurricane, and while in the pilot house of the, the boat, something hit the glass in front of him, and uh, it cut his other eye out, which was Traumatic. I can only imagine being in a storm 100 miles or so off offshore in a hurricane, a small boat, and um, can't see. But anyway, that happened to him. Survived it, got along well after that, but um, those things are very, very, very tragic. And I guess that, in a way, um, kind of leads me to the boats I wanted to do, the small boats or the Mystic Harbor, the Snowbound. And um, the four boats I have now, I've got one called Rowboat. Other one I call a boat by the blue moon, which you see behind me now. Another one with a small boat with a sunset or uh, the sun going down uh, across the marsh. 
And another one is a boat by the pier. Again, what you see behind me right at the moment. Um, <clears throat> each one of these designs are very, uh, very uh, uh, easy to do. They are not complicated. They, they, the detail on, on them is not as detailed as I put in a lot of my designs. These are more abstract, more, more of just um, the image itself using colors around it with the pier, the water, the sun on the sunboat. Um, that's what I've tried to do with each one of these. And each one of these scenes um, is a place um, where I um, continually go today. Uh, it's in Messick Point off the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, excuse me. And um, it has a lot of marshland, brack brackish water going out into the bay. And you see a lot of boats like this, a lot of small boats, whether they're tied up to the pier or whether they're abandoned boats. You see a lot of abandoned boats today in that area. And they're there um, with the sidings pulled off of them or exactly what's happened to them. But um, I've always found those to be interesting. Uh, they don't have a lot of color when you look at them, but you can color them up like I did. And um, I've taken some other pictures I've had of sunsets, sunrises or whatever, and put all this together to come up with these um, four, four designs of these boats. Um, I enjoyed stitching them. I think it's a lot of fun. I've um, enjoyed it. it. Again, all of my stitching is just uh, straight stitching, no back stitching, half stitching, or anything of that nature. But um, I've enjoyed, I enjoy doing it. And again, I just use a round hoop. I never use the wood frame. I know a lot of people do and are very successful with that. And so, uh, but anyway, I just used a, a small frame, a plastic frame. I, somebody told me one time you shouldn't use a plastic frame. You should use a wooden frame. I, I don't know why. I'm sure they were right. But uh, it's just something I've always, always done. I usually try to keep about five or six needles with the colors and most colors in the design already threaded sitting there beside me. So I don't have to go change threads. I'll just pick up a needle and when that's done I'll re-thread that one needle but go on to the next one um, <clears throat> seems to work for me and I'll use a blue marking pen as a lot of folks do just to mark out 10 by 10 squares and count over and start start with one area so um, anyway that's what works that's the way I do it I know other people do it different ways and it works just as great for them another question came up this week on um how do you how do you price how do you price an item? How do you how do you come up with a cost of an item? If, after you do a design, after you um, go through with all of the stuff that goes into it, and you package it up, and you so how do you come up with a cost? Well, I guess you you come up with how much the thing cost you uh, originally. How much did you pay for it? And then you come up with a figure which you think is fair, which I've always done. I've always come up with something that. I thought was not not a great deal of a mo money for a picture if you like to get it and uh, have it framed up. So um, I always double what the wholesale cost is on my SD site, my website, so that um, anyway, not to undercut a shop, because uh, I think that um, I would like everyone, if you're going to buy a pattern, go to a shop and buy the pattern. The shops are the lifeblood or the cross-stitch industry and uh the brick and mortars, they're the people that really handle all of the materials, the flosses, <laughs> excuse me, um, and all the, all the not just DMC, but all of the specialty flosses that are out today. So they do need our support. And if they don't carry a Ronnie Rowe design, they can always get it through um, Hoffman or one of the other distributors um, at, that they deal with. So they're very, very uh, accessible to them. Um, Again, thank you for all the letters um, and everything that you. I'm, I'm going to write you back. That's 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 what I'm. You know, promise. I don't promise anything. I guess I promised my wife something one time. And I don't know if I made that, but anyway, we. Um, but anyway, that's what my plans are, and all of the boats will be out there shortly. Uh, and I am planning on doing one of these videos on some of my very very earliest designs. The. Uh, Colonial Williamsburg series and some of the black and whites and how they came about. I might do them 
uh, together, not just one at a time, but a whole series of them. Like I did the four boats, I might have various of uh, the Colonial Williamsburg to talk about those and show you how I came up with them and how really how that's really how I got started. So um, anyway, I want to thank each and every one of you again for um, all your kind comments. I really, I really mean that. And um, also, um, like you be to keep stitching. Have a great week, and I hope each and every one of you are safe. Come back next week and see another one of Ronnie Road Designs. Have a what videos? Thank you.